Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Annie. So this is going up on the on-camera playlist. Why? Because when I first started in the news business, I honestly had no idea what kind of makeup to wear, what kind of wardrobe to wear. So this video is dedicated to anyone and everyone struggling when it comes to clothing in the news business. And also, we don't make a lot of money, so it's important to find clothes that are attractive, cute, fits you really nicely, but are inexpensive. So I got you covered, and I'm going to show you my tips and tricks, affordable clothing, and also really cute clothes. So let's get into this. So this is my wardrobe. Most of it for work consists of all of these dresses right here and then I have some blouses in here as well but I'm going to go through the dresses because they are the easiest to throw on especially when you work late nights or early mornings and you just want something easy to wear. Okay first dress is right behind me. One you're going to see that I love bright colors. Now in my day to day life I wear black and white and that's pretty much it. So with work I really go bright because it looks amazing on camera. So this dress goes all the way down past your knee like by one inch. I only wear dresses that are knee length or just a little bit longer and then I love a sleeveless dress because I have leaner arms so I really capitalize on that. But this dress is from Nordstrom Rack and it was $30 and I have it in baby blue as well. This yellow dress. Oh my gosh, this is one of my most favorite dresses and you guys, it's from Zara. It is so cute. Again, a sleeveless dress goes down all the way past your knee. Well, this actually hits like right at my knee and then has this cute little bow accent that doesn't get in the way of anything. This dress I think was $45, maybe $50, but I wear this all the time. It is such a good color on air. Okay, now on to this dress. I love a good baby blue, almost like a light chambray denim color because it looks really good with blonde hair and also with brunettes. This is from Banana Republic. Their dresses fit so incredibly nicely. Yeah, you always want to make sure is that you're wearing a fitted dress. Nothing too blousey, nothing unstructured. You need something fitted, but this is fitted in a way that's comfortable to wear all day long. Real quick, another Banana Republic dress I love is this one right here. It is actually a racer back. You can tell right here with thin straps, but because it goes all the way down past my knee, it looks super good on camera, plus Banana Republic fabric is so stretchy, and I also have this Banana Republic dress as well. So with these two dresses that I just showed you, this plaid one and this blue one, because this plaid one is pretty neutral, it doesn't go crazy on camera, otherwise I would not recommend a pattern whatsoever. And this one, all the blues look alike, so it almost on camera looks blue like it doesn't look patterny at all it's once you start adding in like multiple color stripes and patterns that it doesn't look good okay, last but not least is this dress right here i laid it out because it's you can see it's more structured again it has cinches at the waist but it is very sophisticated this dress is by antonio milani so if you want a really nice dress that is not under a hundred dollars antonio milani is the brand that you should be buying. But Antonio Milani is the higher end of, I would say, a lot of my work dresses. I only have a few of them. They just, you guys, they fit so well. Like I don't think, besides Banana Republic, I haven't really found a dress that fits as nicely as both of those. So okay, next up, if you love to wear skirts, which I was really into until I was like, wow, dresses are so easy. But skirts are so great because you can really wear the same skirt over and over and then just change out the tops. So I love Zara pencil skirts. I only wear pencil skirts because they're fitted again, but Zara and H&M and Lulu's are great places to find like plain black pencil skirts. But where I make sure that things are fitted is I wear a bodysuit or a really fitted bright colored top. So let me show you. So here is the bodysuit I got from Lulu's. I think this was, God, $20, maybe $19. 
all it is black long sleeve bodysuit that I would wear with this skirt. But if I didn't want to wear the black long sleeve, I would come over here and do this Zara top. This top is literally bright purple. And I would just pair it with this pencil skirt. So it gives like a pop of color. I do want to mention, you guys, I wear a belt. So then I just cinch the waist with this belt and it looks super cute. When it comes to pants, you guys, I'm not a big pant person. I sometimes will wear them if I'm reporting or out on a shoot, but I will wear something like what I wear with these skirts, like a top that's fitted and a fitted bodysuit. And then the pants... I buy them at Zara or Topshop or H&M. I never go nice with my pants. I keep with those because they have fitted pants. They're cute. They're basic. That's all I'm really looking for. Go on Nordstrom. Look at Sam Edelman shoes. And Sam Edelman has a pair of black leather heels and a nude leather heel. And I think they're $80. I bought both of those and they are amazing because they go with everything, black and nude, and that's all you need. And those are the only shoes I wear. That's it. Okay, and last but not least, where I buy most of my clothes, Nordstrom Rack. I have been obsessed with Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack lately because their clothes are so inexpensive and I just pick bright, bright colors or a black dress and I keep it super fitted. So I just recently bought three red dresses. This is not one of them. This is from H&M, but I'm obsessed and can't wait to wear them. So they were all under $30 too. Got it? I know. All right. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget to find me on Instagram, Annie Taylor News or Facebook and subscribe and I will see you guys later.